that's how it all goes down. Fat little kid from Bridgeton Town. Blessed with a vibe the world should know. Channel 4 said he's a G and should have his own show. Off come scared what a G might say. Brought man like Mo to ride the wave. No kinky thing on TV, no way. Rastafari stands alone. Jaja City. show it's all fucked up blood <laughs> yeah. no offense here yeah. i'm dealing with some real fucking dickheads from they just get on my fucking nerves yeah <laughs> so they're done. they try my salvation they make everything difficult i'm never gonna look at that screen stuff because they're having a fucking bubble yeah. <laughs> long story short got great fun some good guests a lot of banter Bring him a side dish, man like Mo Gilligan. What's going on, bro? You alright? I'm there. Why are you so upset today? What's wrong with you? Because they all piss me off. Bro. Who's they? Who's they? <laughs> Mention these days, bro. Yeah. Am I in this day? You're part of them. So Why? Why am I part of them? You listen to them in the voice. Cause... What do you mean I listen to them in the voice? I know you wear the earpiece. You yeah, to bro. Oh, I've it. got it. Fucking have yeah. this earpiece. Oh. It's a hard life, isn't it? Having a TV show. Oh, yeah, but man. I'm the only one to get. Hell, what this hell? How these pussy hoes do me? Yeah. All right, go on. <laughs> if anyone smokes, yeah, on the premises, yeah, who they think is affiliated to me, yeah, do you know I get a twenty-five grand fine? How does that make me feel any different from being on the block, fam? <laughs> and I know. Is it not oppression? It's just fancy oppression. You still got me in a jailhouse, cuz, but I've got open visit. That's all it is, cuz. <laughs> it's still fucking jail, cuz. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you got to do it about your mom! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> 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 this is so tight. <laughs> no! You got to do it about your mom! You know, oh, oh my knees, blood. <laughs> You're gonna be grounded, boy. <laughs> Mom, you know he smokes weed and everything. <laughs> 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 Let's see who's on the show. We got Lorraine Kelly on the show. We got London Hughes on the show. Got Unknown T on the show. Homer and B. We got Rio Ferdinand. Oh shit. Rio Ferdinand, yes! Please welcome to the stage, Rio Ferdinand! Well done, big man. Saying, yeah, right, Rio. Have a Good. seat, have a seat. Come on, drink. Man like Rio, Rio! So, guys, please welcome BT Sport pundit and Premiership legend, Rio Ferdinand. Show some love to Rio Ferdinand, you know? Thank you. Thank you. So, you're a total G, blood. You've got like six Premier League titles underneath your belt. Mm. And you're part of the old school legendary mm. Ferguson team. You get me? Mm. Like when Fergie, real man United. Mm. You get me? Like. I heard Peggy was paro in the dressing rooms, though. Well, I had a game, yeah, we played against Bayern Munich one time, and like, I weren't agreeing with the tactics, yeah, on the, on, the, on the pitch. I was screaming, like, why are you bringing him on for? Mm -mm. And we lost. Got in the change room, and everyone was just sat down quiet, and the manager said, shut the door, but obviously swearing and that. And then he just come on over the top of me, and this hairdryer business, I'd never really felt it or seen it. Mm. And he just went nuts, like spit, phlegm, everything. <laughs> All, and like screaming at me, and I was I was kind of shouting back a little bit, <laughs> and he was and he was he was just volleying me, and I remember they, I remember Gary Neville went to me, Rio, you're not going to win the argument. 
thought, oh, you man ain't even backing me. That's all right. Now. <laughs> I just left it. But then I went the next day to go and apologise and say, listen, boss, I'm sorry. I believe what I was saying was right, but the timing was bad. Oh, well, he went mad again. He just, <laughs> just, just rinsed me again over his paper. Like, he was going mad. And I said, you know what, boss? You find me a week's wages, everything. I've got to find enough money, man. What? Yeah. How much was a week wages back then, though? Big money, bruv. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was made in, I was made in. Yeah. He was there first time when Beckham got his head bust, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He that was a madness. Me, that was mad. Like, whoa. They scored two goals in the first half from that side. And he, he thought, oh, we were saying that, David weren't doing his job. So he come in and was going nuts, rah, screaming at him, screaming at him, screaming at him. And in frustration, just booted the, the boot. And the boot just went slow-mo, man. It was mad. Mm. And it just, the, I don't know, it just hit him on the head. And it was just, again, it was slow-mo. He went like that and then saw the blood. And I, I was Did like, he cry? Rah. Did he cry? There was tears, no joke, Joe. No, I don't know. Like. <laughs> I was lucky there was people in, in the middle because Fergie just went nuts, bro. He just like. What you had to do, you was going to go with He was going to run towards oh, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was going to like, mash one up. You're a Man United fan, innit? Yeah, bro. Are you? Yeah. Yes. Well, the old school cuz, like, you man, cuz Andre Kinchowskis, cuz Dennis Irwin, cuz. Right, you know, you know your thing. Cuz he Cantona, cuz. <laughs> but that supported Arsenal, innit? Yeah, but as soon as Cantona fly kicked, man, cuz, I said, this is the truth. I'm not taking no violation, cuz. You're, you're Arsenal, isn't it? I'm Arsenal, yeah. So, right, yeah, anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> would you become a manager yourself? Uh, if my situation would, would, was different, probably. I, need, like, I like being around my kids now, man. Like, just... Because uh, when you play football, you're probably out of the house probably 60, 70% of the time. You're gone, you're, you're travelling all over Europe and that, all over yeah. the world, so... And to be fair, if you want to be the best, your mind, my mind was always like, boom, football. With, and family kind of takes a bit of a, a side seat over there a little bit because I, I just always had to be really focused. So now I'm retired, I've got time. I've got, I got a, a wicked family, so I want to spend time with them. My, watch my boys play football now. My little mm. girl wants to be a, a, a fairy. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah. but it's lovely, I love it. So I want to be around that as much as I can. That's lovely, man. That's really, that's really nice, man. <laughs> no, we're too good. But you know what's really cool, yeah? I don't know if you know this, Nasty, but you know he's got a blue plaque outside his house. What? Well, verified yeah, on your wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on your estate. That's on your estate, yeah. on your actual flat that you lived in, right? Yeah, I took my little boys to see that, and they was like, yeah. whoa, like, they, they, they couldn't believe it. So do you, you're, you're from here, yeah? And they put that on the wall about you. And I was like, yeah. Do you, take, your do, you, do you take your kids around where, where you grew up and where you lived? Them? Yeah, I made sure. You know what I should say? I'm going to bring my kids back to Peckham. I'm going to drop them off and just leave them. <laughs> to go like, in, in the adventure playground. Go to youth yeah, 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 and just yeah, leave yeah. them in there, but they'll get eaten up. No, no, no. Because like, they go, they're like, they're like, they're Daddy, up different. Daddy, can we go inside the club? It's too many women. Twice you've been the most expensive defender, though. Right, when you're like, the most expensive player, it's on all the papers and whatnot, and then you go there. Is there a lot of pressure? It's nerves, man. It's like. I was more nervous just going into training mm -hmm. and then doing, doing the, the different tactical stuff, playing, playing with the football in front of your, your, your peers. And you, like, like you say before, you've got like Bex, Giggsy, Roy King, Van Nistra, all these big names. They want to see if you're bad, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they want to see. So, and, and the madness is, is one of the first touches I had with the ball, the ball come to me, it was wet, mind you, yeah? And the ball come and it slipped off my toe and hit me in the face. <laughs> no lies, yeah? And then I remember Oli Gunnar Solskjaer just went, how much? <laughs> so see, yeah, when they said, "Raw, Mr. Ferdinand, we're rating your football skills. You're gonna get the check of your life right now." Yeah, <laughs> you're up. What was the first thing you copped to your check? Well, I went down Bond Street and just tore up the shops. <laughs> I to be real, I did. I was going mad in the shops in Bond because yeah. I used to go Bond Street and the, the security guard used to go uh, with a door. Uh, no, no, you, you lot can't come in. You used to get turned away from enough shops. I might just tell the security guard, watch, when I come back, you're, you're losing your job. <laughs> <laughs> we got some looks how you used to dress back in the day. Oh, God. Here's an here's a image oh, here. God. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like a Giacomo advert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really looks like he's on a move. <laughs> but, bruv, the braids, people are still rocking them braids now, so I was a trendsetter back then, bro. <laughs> That doesn't explain the outfit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to work something there. Ain't nothing. Oh. We got some other looks as well. This is where you first got signed. I still got that suit, you know. You got that suit? Yeah, bro. 
That suit is fire. I don't care what anyone says. This looks like one of them suits, yeah, where you're in the, like a like a shopping thing and you got your bread and you know you yeah, mess Greece. around with your friends. You like, you're like for jokes, you pick up something. Oh, what are you saying for this? And your bread is like, what? <laughs> are you that hard, you know? <laughs> if that was me. If I was a Premiership footballer, I'd wear that still. You got guess. Wait, see when you pranked Beckham, yeah? Because you know he thought he was getting napped. Yeah, he was scared, man. They never were going to get napped easily. No way. I was scared, yeah, because he was running on the road. And we were going to, like, a World Cup. And I was thinking, if he gets knocked over, I am fucked. <laughs> but I know you like music, yeah? I saw one mad footage when you were shelling a rave, cos, yeah, you was doing some old school, you was burst. What's that? You was, you was burst. I know the that? champs had you up, and he was spit up, peanut, 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 peanut. Oh, shit. You, you got a clip you, here? You was trying oh. to bust. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm hot, bro. You know the funniest thing is that clip? There's a bit where you go, peanut, 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 and you stop and you look around like, what the fuck am I doing? Peanut, 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 peanut. How do I get out of this? <laughs> yeah. So, see football being a harsh sport, yeah? See, when you thought about leaving Man U and that, I saw some fans come to the yard for you, innit? I, I went to meet my agent at the time in a restaurant, yeah? yeah. I went there, and the chief, chief executive of Chelsea was there with him. But back then, phones weren't so prominent, so yeah. it weren't like, oh, people are going to take pictures. It's like, right, I'm going to stay for five minutes, I want to go. But someone, sneaky rat, took a picture. Mm. On the Monday morning, back page, I'm sat with the chief, chief executive of... Chelsea at a table with my agent looks like I'm looking to move. Okay. Which, which I weren't. Mm. But at the same time, I was in contract negotiations with Man United. Mm -hmm. So it looked it looked funny, but it wasn't that. Yeah. I was in my house one day just chilling, watching the TV, and then I heard the the, the, the buzzer go at the gate because man had gates then had gates. <laughs> so the buzzer went, the buzzer went. So I looked on the camera and the camera went black. So I went to the side door of my house, and there was like a big um, bit of wood. So I picked up this, this big bit of wood, yeah. jumped on the side of the thing. I jumped on the side of the wall, and I'm on top of the thing, and as I've gone like, like, bro, there's about 20 men with balaclavas on, hoodies. <laughs> bro, my legs went jelly, everything. <laughs> but I just went, you know, you think so, I've got to go mad or it's over. Yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah. you fucking ah! <laughs> the thing like this on the, on the thingy wheat, and then I was going, no, calm down. And when I saw that it was calm, <laughs> I went even madder because I thought, no, I'm not having this. But they were saying, like, just sign your contract, sign the contract. I said, you come to my house to talk about a contract. <laughs> <laughs> come to my house, I'm not kidding, bro. What are you doing? Were you scared afterwards, though? A little bit. I was praying, I was. Yeah. I was at the time, but when they went, I knew they were, they were football fans. I said, listen, I'm going to sign the contract because I knew I was going to sign. It was just about, I want to get the right money. Mm. Give me the right money, I'll sign. Did you ever get, like, stupid in injuries as, like, a footballer? No, there was one in the paper, but it was a myth. I don't know where they got that from. What was that one? The one that... I was meant to have been sitting at home yeah. with my legs folded like this, yeah. and I, I couldn't play Saturday cos I had a knee injury. What? So I don't know what they were talking about. I, I think you know where they could have got it from. They could have got it from this clip. They could have got it from this clip here. Our famine, oh. and it's, um, in, in respect of um, children that have been stricken by war and... <laughs> <laughs> Problems, you know. That was another West Ham. <laughs> wow. Tell us what was going on when you fell off the chair there. I was only about 17, 18, and I was doing the interviews, but yeah. I don't know what the director, he didn't check the apparatus. Yeah. And I just fell, man. So you did musicals when you were younger, yeah? Oh, man. <laughs> you were some ballerina thing? Yeah, yeah, I did. I could pair away, I could pair away. You, pair, can, pair you away. can pair away. What, why not, bruv? Give, give us a pair away, then. Give us a pair away. some bad man ballerina shit right now, bruv. Dan, <laughs> <laughs> give us something. No, if I'm buzzing, so. <laughs> but, no one there. Got the agile on them feet. No one there, fam. It helped me. Serious. <laughs> Did it? The mad thing is, is like, living in Peckham, playing football, all your mates. Oh, yeah. And then someone said, oh, a scout must have been there, said, oh, they'd like you to come to this, this ballet school, Central School of Ballet. Big school, you know, it's no joke. Yeah, we believe you, bro. We yeah. Believe you, bro. <laughs> I went and I was I was there for like about three, four years. Oh really? I was good, man. Okay. But it helped me with the football, that balance and all that toys. Balance, red boy. <laughs> <laughs> you went in there like a bad man, innit? Billy Elliot. No, bro, start smashing up, man. Are you mad? What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about, man? 
<laughs> now, Rio, you've lived an amazing life. You've won 14 trophies in total, including a Champions League title. So, Rio, it's time for your ghetto story. Run the track, please. This is a survival story. Story. Yeah. Ghetto story. Story. This is my story. Big up the dancers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do the same dance story. every single week, hey. week, week, week. His name's Rio and he watches from the stand. Stand. A real G, a real Man United Dan. Dan. Coming straight out of pet, nom, nom. Defense was his real man, charm. Charm. Trying to get close, clamp your blood clot. Clot. Man, I know he's the blood clot. The King of defense. King of the end. The end. Championship with our man, mate, Trent. Trent. 16 wins under the belt. Belt. Know what I'm saying? Man, you rascal, G. Ferdinand, 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 Ferdinand. Club man and send man straight to Birmingham. Birmingham. Original defending G. G. 40 mil. Bad man G. Respect G. you all the time, man. You're not a cowboy, my G. Mr. Ferdinand, like, eh. Woo! Yes, yes. 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 Three yes. Welcome to the break. We'll be joined by Lorraine Kelly. Tweet us and don't forget to use the hashtag The Big Nasty Show. See you in a bit. Peace. Yes. Welcome back. Oh, the cupboard is lying up. Let's see who our guest is. Who's coming out of the cupboard? It's the Ray Kelly! Woo! Yeah, I made it. I did fall. Come on. Big man. Hello. Oh, you're so gorgeous. <laughs> so lovely to see you. It really Bless is. Me, Thank you for coming. Hi. How you doing, Lorraine? Lovely to meet you. Hey, you doing, okay? Lovely to meet you. Oh, yeah. okay? How you doing? Nice to see you. Guys, please get off a TV legend, Lorraine Kelly! But Lorraine, you've been presenting for 35 years. I know, love. I That's don't amazing. Know no, guys, please, oh. man. 35 years. That's... Wow. That is... <laughs> that is... A... It's funny. I know. Obviously, you know, a lot of the time, you're on in the morning times. Yes. Very you know. much so. But there's a lot of times I'll be like, well, I'm not going to school. <laughs> Watch a bit of the day <laughs> TV and that. So you, you became, like, for a lot of people, like, a lot oh. of people have, like, grown up. That's lovely. With you as well. It's really good. Real, do you watch Lorraine? Yeah. Yeah, you see, he has to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did when I was growing up as well. Oh. Yeah, uh, loose women, all of them. Yeah, all of them. I'm on it. And you're so friendly and charming as well. Like, there's never ever been a clip where I've seen you, like, lose it. Do you know what I mean? No, I try not to. It's that thing of that you can't really if you're at your work. Mm -hmm. um, we've not had many people who've been horrible. Because, to be honest, yeah. most people are on in their... It's not like this show. Most people are just... This is lovely, because folk are just chatting away. But a lot of people on in the morning, they're selling something. Mm -hmm. But most people are really, really nice. Yeah. Very, very occasionally, you'll get somebody who's not great. Yeah. Kevin Spacey was horrible. Oh, yeah? Oh, horrible. Oh. I mean, really, really beyond horrible. Mm -hmm. That was before all the allegations. He was horrible to the person that was making him up, okay. the person that was bringing him a cup of tea. Yeah, so he was acting like an uh, idiot. Oh, a complete knob. No. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. I think that's the worst <laughs> word you've ever heard. What? I can never, ever picture Lorraine being like, you're a wee bumba <laughs> 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 I can never see it. I can never picture it. Bumba A bumba Yeah! <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. No, no, no. We've been certain cultures. If you get called that, boy, I'm out with the blood fire, you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so it's worse than I know. Who's the most difficult player you played with? In terms of maybe, like, tactics and stuff that was still good, but just quite a difficult person at work. Everyone was cool. I swear. Yeah. yeah. I'm not lying. It's mad, cos when the whole team was, like, we're all going out, we all went out. Mm. It weren't, like, if you, if you didn't come out, it was, like... What's wrong with you? Yeah. So we all went out, and the manager liked that as well. Encouraged well all you. the guys, even Bebe. <laughs> yeah, I still chat to him, you know. <laughs> I still chat to him. <laughs> He's doing, <laughs> hey, listen, you, you <laughs> might be laughing, time. yeah? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you might be laughing. He's had a career, you know? Yeah. In Spain, like, he's... he's Did they he's find him on stuff. YouTube or something like that? And Alex Ferguson uh, signed him? I, I, I think he was, like, a borderline homeless. Yeah. I think he played in, like, the Homeless World Cup or something like that. Oh, really? And then he, he started playing for a team. It's a Homeless World Cup? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant. It's like, yeah. Why did they build him a yard? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you remember your first TV job? Um, I, yeah, I do. I do. That was... Uh, I worked at the BBC. I worked in BBC Scotland. I was a researcher. But that was back in the 80s, and the boss of BBC Scotland said to me... He, he called me in, and I thought, oh, look, yeah. that's real. 
and he called me. There was tele look, telephones had wires. <laughs> look, and typewriters, <laughs> typewriters. Yeah, that was a way. Go like that, yeah. isn't it, for the number. Oh, that was shit, that's the typewriter. That's the typewriter. That's what, the what? typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> With paper and everything. Your kids are watching this like, oh, my days, what's going on? <laughs> what is this? Apparently, <laughs> like... People used to take the mick out of your voice. They weren't respecting well, the Scottish voice. Well, weirdly, when, when you were talking about um, when I first started out, because I was at the BBC and the big boss at the BBC called me in and I thought he was okay. going to... Because yeah, I really wanted to be a reporter, that's what I wanted to do. And yeah. he, he basically said to me, he, just sort of, he had glasses and he sort of looked over the top of his glasses and he said, you will never make it in television. <gasps> Not with that accent. Really? You will have to go to elocution wow. lessons. But that sounds really odd now. But back then, that was the middle of the 80s. And yeah. nobody spoke like me or, or like Anton Deck. Yeah. Or, or like us. You yeah. know, nobody spoke like that. There's no black people. There's email. No <laughs> black people. <laughs> <laughs> you get one extra on these this boy. <laughs> You just better walk. You never had one line on the show. <laughs> you in the background like that. <laughs> and he'd always exaggerate his lines, you know. Move out of the way, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> True though, no, you just didn't hear that. You know, uh -huh. I mean, everybody was all talking terribly posh like that. Yeah, yeah. So it was. So um, I ended up working for TVAM. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> That is an important That look ain't one. too bad. There's no, people that dress up like this. What's the woman from Coronation Street? In Dawson. Yeah. Go, there's what's the woman from Dawson. What's the new woman from Coronation Street? Dear Dee Barlow, dear Dee. Dee Dee. I must have had no friends to say to me, you cannot go out like that. <laughs> Do not go out like that. But uh, you look a lot younger now, you know do you what I mean? Do you think so? Yeah, you look... You, oh, God, you, you know. And do you know I've not had anything done? Honest to God, I've not had anything done at all. Because I've... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm too fighting. Because on our show, we do a lot of stuff, like, you know, surgery, when surgery goes wrong, you know, and people mm. come in looking like Klingons, ooh, like that, and, like, from Star Trek. <laughs> And I'm always too frightened. And you met your husband doing your yeah, show, Yeah, right? he was my cameraman. What? Yeah. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not that not kind of camera. cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Building vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a whole year to persuade him, but eventually I wore him down and he started going out with me. Well, you moved to him. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Predator. <laughs> Love <laughs> <laughs> but you know when you're presenting, right? Because yeah. you do a lot of like early morning stuff. Yes. So have you ever like like presented an episode drunk or something like that? No, just once. Oh. <laughs> what? So did you have a big night out the night yeah. before? It was or? a long, 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 long time ago before I was a responsible adult and mother. I just yeah. want to say that. But I'd gone out with my friend John Hannah, and we went out for lunch. Two Scottish people going out for lunch. I mean, yeah. So if it's four in the morning, I get my call and I'm like that. Bouncing off the walls, <laughs> and any, anybody normal would have just phoned down and gone, I'm so sorry, I've got food poisoning, but I've got this terrible work ethic that I yeah. have to go to my work. Okay. So I went and I sat on the sofa with Mike Morris doing TV AM with my big hair and my big earrings and my screaming pink coat that was giving me a headache. <laughs> um, and I had my hangover on here and nobody noticed. Oh, wow. Nobody blinking noticed, big man. Nobody noticed. <laughs> <a thing. laughs> you pulled it off. <laughs> I couldn't do it now, I couldn't do it, and it was only the once and never again, because I thought okay. I was going to die. So you was drinking from lunch all the way into the, into the evening? Yeah. Big night, did you go <laughs> raving? I don't, uh, maybe. <laughs> well, I very well might have, I don't Could have ended up in a rave, seeing this guy there, peeing up, peeing up, peeing up. That was me really good, I don't like that. I wish I could uh, remember. When I did my tour, yeah, I wore a kilt on stage, yeah? Right. And I flushed my junk to, like, 20,000. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I was happy with what I had to show. <laughs> End of the show, I said, we just showed them the real free willy. <laughs> Why did you do this? Because I was like, in Scotland, you say that, like, right, it's tradition to wear a kilt. I was like, raw, right, cool. I put it on. Bruv, it was mad womb, cuz. It's really <laughs> Mad womb. Cos you can't wear any pants when you wear the kilt. You can't wear no pants. But nope. you know what it is? Cos it's so warm, yeah? You don't need to. You're not gonna be shriveled up. It's not like a bath job. <laughs> no, when you... Man, you know when you get out of the bath, you're not, you're not impressing no one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Yeah. <laughs> Man's cocktail wiener ain't pressing. No one was fresh out of the bar from cold situations. <laughs> but you know, these are like 21 Celsius. You know the ones there, cuz. Right, no, no, no. It's, it's long. It's long when you're when you're cold, and your missus is trying to be. Like, oh, let's have a look at baby penis. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, why are you doing that? No? Like, don't do that. Watch when it gets warm, yeah. <laughs> so swing it around. <laughs> now you've done a lot of daytime chat shows, and you've been on a lot of shows like Loose Women, yes, as well. Yes. So earlier today, we filmed our very own version of our take. Here it is here. Here's a VT. Back up today, loose man them bringing the vibe. Man like Mo Gilligan. Man like Ross Clark Hats. Man like Ross Clark Steve or the Madman. And man like Big Nasty. Bala. We've got some deeper guests, you know. Big up Lorraine Kelly. No, Nadia Sawala. Let's make some noise for them, yo. Hey, 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 it's a cracker. <laughs> so how is Prince Harry going to go about raising a black baby in the royal family? Well, happy baby, you have to have a happy wife. Mm -hmm. The I tips know. I would give him is do everything Meghan wants you to. No. Don't think the titty fairy has come for you. It hasn't. <laughs> it's come for the baby. Yeah. OK. Don't go near those boobies. Yeah. What about yourself? Nasty, you ever been near the, the boobies when the, the baby's here? When I first saw the colour of breast milk, yeah. Oh, that, that, my days. That mad colour in that. I was condensed there. milk? It's exactly like condensed you, milk. You fucking wish it's like condensed it milk. Is. It's natural, bro. It's natural. It does with a melon, cos it looks like gonorrhea, cos... Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are we using public toilets? No. Hell no! Well, no. if you do, you have to hover. Crouch and tiger, hidden shit, Sarah. <laughs> You've got to hover. Yeah, no. You cannot put yourself down. That's true. How about yourself, Nadia? Are you a hover? I must admit, I'm quite brave. I never crouch. I wish I was Ooh. a croucher, and I, afterwards I always think I should have been a croucher. Uh -huh. But I'm afraid I'm a sitter, I'm a planter. <laughs> Brexit. How is this affecting the UK? No Viagra. There's a real problem bringing medical supplies. That's yes, true. all of that. Listen, if you need that, come to me, bro. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you got lots of supplies, I got, the link. I got the link. For yourself? Camagra. <laughs> me? Are you crazy? I'm vegan, dad. <laughs> I don't need Viagra. <laughs> Last. Guess enough. You're... I would say that you're probably my most Jamaican friend, apart from my mum, yeah? Is there a stone that you rub on your yeah. penis to get <laughs> erect? <laughs> Yeah, just like, 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 like a black soap, yeah? And you rub a little bit of it, yeah? And you wipe it on your belly. <laughs> this thing here, yeah, gives you the immortal penis. I've heard this. Like, okay. you could get your belly, yeah, and whack it on slabs of wood and but fucking brick. And you wouldn't want to do and that. And not feel you? anything. All right. But boom, you come home looking all ravishing and that, yeah? Mine's been a bit excited, a little bit of really dirty thoughts in my mind. I end up shooting on the lips. I don't even get all the Boom! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, we started with Brexit. <laughs> 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 I think we to rubbing your winky on a stone <laughs> from Jamaica, the stone. <laughs> yes, yeah, but Jamaica. that's not going to be affected by Brexit. It wasn't no, Jamaica. We're fine. <laughs> uh, I think that's all we've got uh, time for, but join us after the break where we'll be <laughs> looking at the hottest roadman fashion trends in 2019. See you in a bit, guys, on Who's Man Them. <laughs> Tweet us and don't forget to use the hashtag the big nasty show. See you in a bit. Peace. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the big nasty show. The cupboard is lighting up, so that means we've got a guest. Let's see who's gonna join us. Who's coming out of the cupboard? Thank you for oh, you coming. Hello, hello, hello. You're at London. Hi. How are you doing? Okay, good to see you. Guys, yeah. please give up for comedian and present our London Yay! <laughs> now, you've known Nasty for a number of years, haven't you? So long. Uh, Mr. Big Nasty was at my 18th birthday party, and I am 30 this year. Oh, shit! Looking <laughs> <laughs> deep into our soul right there, boy. <laughs> 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 Poison me. Oh, God. Poison me. I knew that would embarrass you. <laughs> Look at his face. I knew that would embarrass you. Oh, you are such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stop. <laughs> Mum, I've known you.
you for ages too. Don't ever yeah. get it. I've uh -huh. known Mo for a very, very, very long time. We go way, way back, like mm -hmm. comedy wise. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's only <laughs> <laughs> just comedy wise. And me and Nasty just <laughs> physical. No, I'm joking. Me and Nasty, <laughs> we just smashed once, in it. You started as a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So you started off doing presented for kids? Yes, I did! <laughs> yes, I did! My like, uh, uh, uh. oh, I love you like, you're blushing. <laughs> so, so, London, is it hard doing kids' TV? To be fair, it was, like, my first TV gig. And I'd never seen any black girls on TV ever. And I saw Angelica Bell on TV when I was, like, 15, on CBBC. Okay. So when I was, like, 15, I was like, that's it. I'm going to be on TV and I'm going to be on CBBC. And I achieved that at 21. Yeah. So that happening, like, blew my mind. I was rich as well! Imagine! I had so much money! Give her, give her a hand in the yeah. crazy. Crazy. I'm making some it's fun! fun. <laughs> Kids TV, you've got to be very animated, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Kids TV. Yeah, of course. Because anything that happens, it'll be like... Who's at the door? No way! <laughs> so I would and it'll be a fucking, fucking pig or something like that. <laughs> Who's at the door, Mr. Pig? You know it. Mr. Mickey. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. No, it was like kids, it was CBBC, so it wasn't that, it was cooler oh, okay. than that. So it was like, coming up next is Tracy Beaker. There's that kind of thing. Okay. Have you ever accidentally sworn on day -time? Never in my life. Never in my life. No. I was too scared. No, 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 no way. What about Not you, even... Lorraine? You ever said any F-bombs? On... No. No. We're no. professional. I don't know no. about all you lot. No. But I don't know. If I said that Naughty Bird earlier on, but I don't know what it means to that. Bumber Count. Bumbleclaw. Did you say Bumbleclaw, Lorraine? Yeah, is that really bad? That's so bad, you know. Is it? You can't say anything, you know. You can't say anything, you won't have a job. I think you're... Are you not making it up? No, Bumbleclaw's No, it's so bad. No, I love dickhead, man. You can get a real good dickhead. You know you see your bread, you Dickhead! You can get a dickhead, you know, that you're a dickhead still. Dickhead, bro. What's Alex Ferguson's apparel? Apparel Scottish swear word. Dickhead. What's that? No, there was too many, man. Are you calling a dickhead? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I didn't carry that. I didn't carry that. <laughs> Lorraine, I hear you're a fitness fanatic. Well, <laughs> that was a lovely segue, wasn't it? No, but <laughs> you, yeah. you do zumba. I do. I Go on. Do. I so love I saw your bad. it. I love it. It's really zumba. good. Zumba. It's really mm -hmm. good. It's you've got. Well, see, I'm not very good at it. If I wind up a surf, man. <laughs> You're a big football fan, aren't you, Lorraine? I love it. Well, I, I, yeah. So, Lorraine Rio, are you up for doing a penalty shootout? Are you up for that? Who's in goals? I thought you should go and go for all time sake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you became a goalkeeper for the team one time, innit? It was the quarterfinals of the, of the, uh, the FA Cup. We got beat, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah? I you tell them pissed I, about that, bro. No, I told them I couldn't do it. I, you can't do it? Why can't you do it, bro? You no. got a match, you got a big game coming up or something. No, no I'm not even joking, but oh, I, told, I told the producer already. And yeah. He's, Two it's things. all right, bro. It's all right, bro. You know, you're gonna bang something. No. <laughs> no. I told him before. I told, I told him twice. There's two things that have been said, and I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. And he's, what? he just let it go. What and he spoke to me in the car before. So. Not tell me, cuz. Can he get on my fucking nerves too, cuz? <laughs> where, where is the guy like? Because he's asking, he asked me in the car, he asked me when I got here, and I told him, don't do it. Okay. No way. I don't think it's a problem. Bro, the Peckham's coming out, bro. <laughs> Need the regulations, the man. Man. They don't need to do it, love. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just don't do it. No, I know, but he's, you can't just take the piss like Go on, boy. Come Give on. it to them, bro. Where's no, the guy? Where's the guy? Okay. Say, say, say. Yeah, but you you know, I fucking listen, my lad. Me don't tell him that I play with no I fucking before, football, my lad. <laughs> All good, man. I didn't. I thought it was. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke between no, you. No, come on, man. It's black people TV. It's not, he needs some controversy and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a family it's barbecue. Cool. You know them ones. Sorry. No, but it's true. Though. They give me money because right. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even really want, like, dis I don't want to disrespect the show or nothing like You'll that. You'll be daft. Come and sit down, gorgeous. They can't take the piss out of <laughs> You want Champions League, bruv? You can do no, what you want, bruv. I'm joking, bruv. <laughs> I was joking with you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Without a break. Without a break. Did you hear oh, it? I thought it was time. I was like, 
I even said to Lorraine, he's serious. I saw it in his eyes, he's serious. You think he was real? I, 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 I thought you were. I thought you were. Bro, I could be an actor, you know. That was amazing. I'm so relieved. Nah, you're lying. I bet he said to you, we give you another five grand, please. <laughs> Do you know what Nasty said? Nasty was like, nah, man, black show, innit? We need some controversy, <laughs> blood. <laughs> Let's play Dizzy Shots Fire! <laughs> so Rio's gonna go in goal, and we're all gonna take a penny. But obviously, you can see the distance is quite easy, so how we're gonna make it a little bit harder, everyone's gotta spin round the ball ten times. <laughs> yeah, God. ten times, and then you have to take a penny. So, Lorraine, you're up first. OK, but I've got high heels on. Does that mean I've still got to go round and round? Uh, yeah. Oh, you can take them off, Lorraine. Take them off, Lorraine. No, it's OK, I'll go round and round. No, don't go take them bit. off, man. Them weird foot fetish guys on Twitter, boy. <laughs> oh, look at your bumblecock feet there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, no, it's fine, no, you're grand. So you got to, like, if you put your finger there... Right. ..and then you've got to run round it ten times. Right, OK. Yeah? One. OK, one... Two... Oh, okay. jeez! Three... I'm going to be able to do this! Go on, four, Lorraine! I'm going as fast as I can. Five. <laughs> okay, oh my God. Take your time, ah! take your time. Six. Stop. I'm not going to be Seven. Able to do it. Eight. Last one, last one. <laughs> Nine. Okay, go, Lorraine, go, Lorraine. Okay, Lorraine. Okay, 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 okay. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, London? Yeah. Do you want to take your heels off? No, I've got to just do what Lorraine did. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> Oh, man. You, oh, you want to go nasty? No, you go. No, come on. I'll do one after you. Nasty, I'll go last. The spin. You go last. I'll right. go last. Okay. One. You've got to touch the ball, innit? I feel like I'm at a kid's fucking party, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to touch the ball. You said spin more around. Shut up, man. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> eight. Fuck it now. Nine. Oh, Let's my see. gosh, bro. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> You in for this? Yeah. OK. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> look at the ball, look at the ball. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> Six. <laughs> I'm just dizzy, isn't it? Seven. Keep going, man. Last one. Ten. Go on. that. I didn't know you had that. Tell me what you had that. Maria, you want to take a penny? I think you should take one against Nasty. Go on Coming then. in. Come on, Maria. Go on then. With the powers of Shemichael. <laughs> Shemichael. <laughs> Bro. Ooh. <laughs> I've been drinking beer there, you know, not tea. Five. <laughs> Bro. Six. It gets to you, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Bro, I'm even joking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut <Shimmer>! oh, <laughs> oh, I knew you had it. <laughs> See you after the break. Where we'll be joined by Unknown T. Tweet us and don't forget to use the hashtag the Big Nasty Show. See you in a bit. <laughs> What are you saying, bruv? You OK? I'm big, man. How's it going, man? Nice yeah, to meet I'm you, bruv. Yeah, that's my guy. Good, good brother. Unknown T, Rio Ferdinand. Nice. nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Unknown T. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Guys, please give up for rapper Unknown T! <laughs> so, Ro, Home and MB put you on the map, my G. Yeah, yeah. So, tear down the airwaves with them, tune baby, bang your back and just dig Come it. Come on, blood. <laughs> 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 yeah, them all, them all dig it. Yeah, yeah. The song's gas, though. No, I love my brother. How did, like, how did you feel when it started, started bubbling for you and, like, people were feeling it? 
Can't lie, I was over the moon still. Yeah, what was the best rave you've done? You so look so far? excited. No, 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 exactly. I was over the moon still. I just keep on content, like, but. Fam, like, it was just all came organically, really, you feel me, like. Obviously, when I put it on YouTube, like, I didn't expect it to get how many views in a day, like, mm. 100 bag views in a day. That's 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My kids are going to be pissed they're not here. <laughs> Serious. I didn't know he was going to be here, so they, 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 they into his music. Who, who do you support? Are you, who do you support? What's your football team? I'll be real to you. Man's a Liverpool supporter still. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loads of people have been doing videos of Homerton B. Mm -hmm. Here's a clip here. Lorraine, what do you make of that, Lorraine? I like that. I'm going to use that song and do a Zumba routine to that. You should get... Jeez, you saying you're feeling that, yeah? That would be fantastic. You would be great on our show. You'd be amazing. Would you come on? It's very early, though. But you could just stay up all night and then come in. <laughs> yeah, calm. I can do that still. Cool. Done. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. What kind of shapes would you throw on that with the Zumba, Lorraine? I would... Uh, you'd have to do it, well, I can't really do it, but I would probably... Can, can we get the song? Can we get the song? Some of rising touches. You have the unknown deep voice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, the voice is deep. <laughs> so, boom. Do you remember that time when your balls dropped? See, yeah? <laughs> See my thing, yeah? Before my balls dropped, yeah, I used to love singing Jenny Winery, boy. Mm. Yeah? And I had that, like, that angelic voice, like... Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. And then I remember one day, I woke up and I went, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> it was a rat. <laughs> The progress in the life has changed for me, everybody. <laughs> when, when did you notice your voice just went super deep? Just one random day, it just gradually came, fam. My voice dropped, fam. You get it? My balls dropped, fam. Embarrassing! Uh. <laughs> then the bass came. The bass came, yeah. Oh my G. But, uh, Big Nasty, that's it. Uh, what's your final thoughts of this series, dude? I'm more happy with the support from the nation. Mm. You get me? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not about me, it's like... All the people at home... You know what I mean? I'm just one opinion. So, to see the country gravitate to the way they've gravitated to the nasty show, that's Gaskers. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm. Man like Mo, what did you think of it? No, it's been good. Um, it's been... Do you know what's really good is that I meet a lot of people in the street and I feel like this uh, show is, like, sometimes a voice, sometimes for the normal people. You get a lot of great shows, like Graham Norton Show and stuff like that, and even to get on those shows is a big achievement, but there's not a lot of shows you're going to get a couch of, like, you know, Lorraine Kelly, Rhea Ferdinand, Miss London and Unknown T. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's a pleasure to do this show and, yeah, to work with you, man. Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on. The Nasty, um, you're going to be performing in a minute, but first, it is the end of the show. It's the end of the series. So, guys, it's time for your closing buzz. <laughs> Who's going first? OK, Me? London, you're going first. OK. Oh. Go on, London. OK, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah, I'm London. Girl, you know I got the flow. And I'm stunting on the big nasty show. And I'm a buff stick. I know T wants to know. There's no discussion. I'm kicking it just like Rio. I'm a... <laughs> I ain't no pain. I'm cute just like Lorraine. Killing it in comedy. Everybody knows my name. Making way for all the funny girls. The fellas can't complain. Cause even nasty and no, no London's here to change the game. Thank you. I've had a lot of fun and I'm sad it's time to go. But it's hard to wrap ground when you come from Glasgow. I'm glad I met Big Nasty and Mo. Next time, can we all hang out, be on my show? Hey! Please say, Hannah and T, you want to spray some? Yeah, let me do a couple of things. Go on, Hannah and T. Listen, look. Yo, it's unknown T, I'm a one-man army. I just let Mo the comedian's girl and he's looking all big like nasty. Listen, I love me a big brown Barbie. Aye, look, I'm like, listen. 
The first real artist to ever get silver, I ain't even got me a Cardi. Freestyling off the top of my head like Cardi. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. You gotta pay for more of that. <laughs> what you say, Ray? Come on, Ray. Drop us out, Ray. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get out, bruv. Come and show. Pin him and I'm 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 pin him. Yeah, boy. It's been a deep and pickled show. We got Unknown T, Homer and B. We got Gally on me. We got London Hughes, Lorraine Kelly, Rio Ferdinand, Man Like Mo. This has been an epic show. Thank you to our guests, Rio Ferdinand, Lorraine Kelly, London Hughes, and Unknown T. And finally, a shout out to Ed Harvard. Thank you a lot for putting us on. We really appreciate it.